here we are, back from the 2008 political conventions. We have material from both the Democrats on one side and Republicans on the other. And what we try to do is collect a sampling of the material produced, a sense of the feel of these events, and try to preserve that for our future generations. And what you're looking at here are things that we've been able to get from the convention hall proper, the things that are distributed every night on the floor of the convention before uh, television kicks in. So it's a pretty wide range of material. And one of the things that we've noted this time around is how muted some of this stuff is. So they're sort of banishing any kind of extreme statement. Uh, very rarely would you get a, a white sign, uh, with the exception of, say, a sign for Cindy McCain or Sarah Palin. In the way that we go about collecting the spectacle, we spend a lot of time talking with the people who make the material that they, that they put out onto the floor that appears randomly generated to the casual television viewer, but actually a good deal of thought goes into it. Uh, for example, among themselves, they spend a great deal of time wondering, what is the ideal size of a sign? Uh, they feel that, of course, this is the ideal size of a sign. You'll notice that it's printed on both sides. It can be read from both sides. There's nothing blank on either side, which would allow someone to make their own sign, which is what they would not prefer we do. But also, this creates an air, a kind of a busyness to the whole field that's meant to be read as a field by the television. And some of these are actually themed for each night. There's a, uh, you know, a theme of the night energy independence, and then, of course, uh, service. And of course, these, these messages and themes resonate throughout the whole in the signage that they, uh, that is put up either in banners or electronically screened on the, uh, on the billboards and the, uh, the, the transparencies that are put up through the whole. Right. And, you know, this is what makes up the political process. It's a combination of trying to create the spectacle, as Larry just mentioned, of signs in which a candidate sort of addresses this large crowd over a sea of signs. Um, it's a little bit over sort of the individual things that delegates wear or use, whether it's regular campaign buttons that they buy from vendors and then bring into the hall and wear. And then there's the sort of commercial side to campaigns that have existed since at least the 1820s. And so in the olden days, there might have been an Andrew Jackson plate. Today, we have an Obama action figure. There's a, a lot at stake in uh, a convention, especially when uh, you're trying to demonstrate some kind of state or regional pride to distinguish yourself from all of the other states and uh, examples of regional pride. And uh, we collected this towel. It's actually a Pittsburgh Steel Steelers kind of a terrible towel uh, that the Pennsylvania delegation had uh, had put out onto the floor. But a convention is never over for us until a confetti and balloon drop. And we've we've had a long tradition over the years of that bringing back samples, sort of the conclusion of of the convention, a bit of confetti from from the Republicans and, of course, a bit of confetti from the Democrats.